Now, in the last lesson, I showed you how to insert that paragraph break inside of your ASP script. In this lesson, we're going to talk a little bit more about how you can embed HTML tags inside of ASP scripts. We've already seen, for example, how the paragraph tag works in here. Let's say I want good afternoon to be bolded. Okay, put my open bold there, and then come at the end here, and my close bold, just like that. Save it and then take a look at it in your browser. See how good afternoon is bolded. You can also do HTML tags that are a little more complicated. For example, how about a hyperlink? Now, let's do a hyperlink out here in the regular design. I'm going to come down here and click at the bottom and say go to my home page. Okay. Now, take a look at the code because you got to be careful. Sometimes Sometimes your ASP code can get mangled by your web browser. Older versions of uh, front page, in fact, were notorious for this. It would just insert code randomly throughout here. So make sure there's go to my home page, and it's after all that stuff. Okay. Well, if I go back to design here, and I, let's say, select home page, and I want to make a hyperlink here. So I'm going to go hyperlink, insert hyperlink. And I'll pick the index.htm from the root directory and then click OK. All right, I've inserted my hyperlink. Okay, if I go back to my code now, there's the HTML for my hyperlink. You can insert this kind of stuff into your tags as well. For example, let's say if it's the morning, I want them to go to one page. And if it's the afternoon, I want to send them to a different page. Okay, well, right inside here, let me resize this so we have some room. Right inside here, I can say a href equals. Now, inside of quotes, you have to put them inside of quotes, but you got to be careful because there's already quotes in my hyperlink. Well, if you're doing it inside of an ASP script, I suggest using single quotes like that. Okay, so href equals, and I'll just say whatever page, let's say afternoon.htm. Well, it's a fictional page, that's okay. Okay, good afternoon, just like that. And then put the close tag at the end here. Okay, there's my close tag. And you can see how I've got my hyperlink right inside here. Okay, inside my ASP script. Now, I'm going to copy and paste this, copy and paste, and let's say down here, we're going to send them to morning.htm, and then close that one up. So, based on the time, not only am I displaying good afternoon, but I'm also changing the hyperlink, where they're going to. In this case, it's ahref afternoon.htm, and down here, it's ahref morning.htm. Now, if I save this and preview this in my browser. Refresh. All right, here we go. Now, this page doesn't exist, does it? If you look at the full web page, it's pcresale.net slash asp101 slash afternoon.htm. I haven't created that yet. Not a big deal. If I click on it, I'm going to get an error. Okay? But you can see the hyperlink is correct. We just haven't made that page. If it was morning, I should see good morning and a different link. All right, so that's how you can dynamically change hyperlinks using ASP. And, of course, here's the Go to My Homepage link, which takes you back to the homepage. All right, here's my silly homepage. All right, let's see what the browser sent down now. View, source. Let's take a look at what the browser sent down. Okay, here's my HTML body. Hello there. All right, the time is my P... The hour is 16, right? Ahref equals afternoon.htm. See, ASP needs those double quotes, so the HTML doesn't care if you use single quotes in here, right? If I put another quote here, I'd get an error message, right? If I tried doing it like this, and I've done this before, and you will too, trust me, save it. Now if I try loading my page up, watch what happens. Oh, I get an error message. It says... Microsoft DB script compilation error, some weird number. Expected end of statement, right? Line 15. It's nice enough to tell you what line it's on. 
and then it points it out, right? Here's my response.write, and there's the problem. It, ex it expects the end of the statement to be right here, where that quote is, okay? So that's a no-no, and you will probably do this, all right? There's two alternatives. One alternative is to use the single quotes, okay? That gets around the problem. The second alternative is to use quote, quote. All right. If you use a set of a, a set of double double quotes, then ASP will change that into a single quote when it sends on the HTML. If you have to include quote symbols, all right. If I refresh now, everything looks good. Let's take a look at the source, and you can see there's a set of single double quotes that got sent down by the compiler. Okay. See how that works. So that's the whole quote nonsense. And yes, I do that all the time. The big concept to take away from this lesson is simply embedding my HTML tags inside of my ASP scripts. Right? There's my paragraph break, my hyperlink. I can put bolding in here like that. Okay? That's all we're worried about in this lesson is how to do that stuff. See, there's my good 